In probability theory and statistics, variance is the expectation of a squared deviation of a random variable from its mean. Informally, it measures how far a set of random numbers are spread out from their average value. Variance has a central role in statistics, where some ideas that use it include descriptive statistics, statistical inference, hypothesis testing, goodness of fit, and Monte Carlo sampling. Variance is an important tool in the sciences, where statistical analysis of data is common. The variance is the square of the standard deviation, the second central moment of a distribution, and the covariance of the random variable with itself, and it is often represented by sigma 2 display style sigma caret 2 s 2 display style s caret 2 or VAR X display style operator name VAR X topic definition the variance of a random variable X display style X is the expected value of the squared deviation from the mean of x display style x mu equals e x display style mu equals operator name e x var x equals e x minus mu 2 display style operator name var x equals operator name e left x mu caret 2 right this definition encompasses random variables that are generated by processes that are discrete continuous neither or mixed the variance can also be thought of as the covariance of a random variable with itself. VAR x equals cov x x. Display style operator name VAR x equals operator name cov x x. The variance is also equivalent to the second cumulant of a probability distribution that generates x display style x The variance is typically designated as VAR x display style operator name VAR x sigma x 2 Display style sigma underscore x carrot two or simply sigma two display style sigma carrot two pronounced sigma squared. The expression for the variance can be expanded VAR x equals E x minus e x 2 equals e x 2 minus 2 x e x plus e x 2 equals e x 2 minus 2 e x e x 
plus e x two equals e x two minus e x two display style begin aligned operator name var x and equals operator name e left x operator name e x caret two right four p t and equals operator name e left x caret two two x operator name e x plus operator name e x caret two right four p T and equals operator name E left x carrot two right minus two operator name E x operator name E x plus operator name E x carrot two four p t and equals operator name E left x carrot two right operator name E x carrot two end aligned. In other words, the variance of x is equal to the mean of the square of x minus the square square of the mean of x. This equation should not be used for computations using floating-point arithmetic because it suffers from catastrophic cancellation if the two components of the equation are similar in magnitude. There exist numerically stable alternatives. Discrete random variable If the generator of random variable x display style x is discrete with probability mass function x 1 p 1 x 2 p 2 x n p N display style x underscore one maps to p underscore one x underscore two maps to p underscore two l dots x underscore n maps to p underscore n. Then var x equals i equals one n P I X I minus mu two display style operator name var x equals sum underscore i equals one carrot n p underscore i c d o t x underscore i mu carrot two or equivalently var x equals i equals 1 n p i x i 2 minus mu 2 Display style operator name var x equals left sum underscore i equals one carrot n p underscore i x underscore i carrot two right mu carrot two where mu display style mu is the expected value i e mu equals i equals 1 n p i x i display style mu equals sum underscore i equals 1 caret n p underscore i x underscore i when such a discrete weighted variance is specified by weights whose sum is not 1, then 1 divides by the sum of the weights. The variance of a set of n equally likely values can be written as var x equals 1 n I equals one N X I minus 
mu two Display style operator name VAR x equals frac one N sum underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I mu carrot two where mu display style mu is the average value i.e. mu equals 1 n i equals 1 n x i Display style mu equals frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i. The variance of a set of n display style n equally likely values can be equivalently expressed without directly referring to the mean in terms of squared deviations of all points from each other. Var x equals 1 n 2 i equals 1 n j equals 1 n 1 2 x i minus x j 2 equals 1 n 2 i j greater than i x i minus x j 2 Display style operator name VAR x equals frac one N carrot two sum underscore I equals one carrot N sum underscore J equals one carrot N frac one two x underscore I x underscore J carrot two equals frac one N carrot two sum underscore I sum underscore J greater than I x underscore I x underscore J carrot two. Topic Continuous random variable. If the random variable X display style X represents samples generated by a continuous distribution with probability density function F x display style f x and f x display style f x is the corresponding cumulative distribution function then the population variance is given by var x equals sigma 2 Equals x minus mu two f x d x equals x two f x d x minus Two mu x f x d x plus mu two f x d x 
equals x two d f x minus two mu x d f x plus mu two d f x equals x two d f x minus two mu mu plus mu two one equals x two d f x minus mu two display style begin aligned operator name var x equals sigma carrot two and equals int x mu carrot two f x d x four p t and equals int x carrot two f x d x two mu int x f x d x plus int mu carrot two f x d x four p t and equals int x carrot two d f x minus two mu int x d f x plus mu carrot two int d f x four p t and equals int x carrot two d f x minus two mu c d o t mu plus mu carrot two c d o t one four p t and equals int x carrot two d f x mu carrot two end aligned or equivalently and conventionally v a r x equals x two f x d x minus mu two display style operator Tor name var x equals int x caret two f x dx mu caret two, where mu display style mu is the expected value of x display style x given by mu equals x f x dx equals x df x display style mu equals int x f x dx equals int x df x, with the integrals being definite integrals taken for x display style x ranging over the range of x display style x if a continuous distribution does not have a finite expected value as is the case for the cauchy distribution it does not have a variance either many other distributions for which the expected value does exist also do not have a finite variance because the integral in the variance definition diverges an example is a Pareto distribution whose index k display style k satisfies 1 k2 display style 1 topic examples topic normal distribution The normal distribution with parameters mu display style mu and sigma display style sigma is a continuous distribution also known as Gaussian distribution whose probability density function is given by f x equals one two pi sigma two E minus X minus mu two two sigma two Display style f x equals frac one sqrt two pi sigma carrot two e carrot frac x mu carrot two two sigma carrot two. In this distribution, e x equals mu. Display style operator name e x equals mu. And the variance var x display style operator name var x is related with sigma display style sigma via var x equals minus infinity infinity x 2 2 pi sigma 2 e minus x 
minus mu two two sigma two d x minus mu two equals sigma two Display style operator name VAR x equals int underscore inf t carrot inf t frac x carrot two sqrt two pi sigma carrot two e carrot frac x mu carrot two two sigma carrot two dx mu carrot two equals sigma carrot two the role of the normal distribution in the central limit theorem is in part responsible for the prevalence of the variance in probability and statistics. Topic: <laughs> Exponential distribution. The exponential distribution with parameter lambda Display style lambda is a continuous distribution whose support is the semi-infinite interval zero infinity. Display style zero inf t. Its probability density function is given by f x equals lambda e minus lambda x display style fx equals lambda e caret lambda x and it has expected value mu equals lambda minus 1 display style mu equals lambda caret minus 1 the variance is equal to VAR x equals zero infinity x two lambda e minus lambda x d x minus mu 2 equals lambda minus 2 display style operator name var x equals int underscore 0 caret inf t x caret 2 lambda e caret lambda x dx mu caret 2 equals lambda caret minus 2 so for an exponentially distributed random variable sigma 2 equals mu 2 display style sigma caret 2 equals mu caret 2 topic poisson distribution the Poisson distribution with parameter lambda display style lambda is a discrete distribution for k equals 0 1 2 display style k equals 0 1 2 l dots its probability mass function is given by p k equals lambda k k e minus lambda display style p k equals frac lambda caret k k e caret lambda and it has expected value mu equals lambda display style mu equals lambda the variance is equal to var 
x equals k equals 0 infinity k 2 lambda k k e minus lambda minus mu 2 equals lambda Display style operator name VAR x equals left sum underscore k equals zero carrot inf t k carrot two frac lambda carrot k k e carrot lambda right mu carrot two equals lambda. So for a Poisson distributed random variable sigma two equals mu Display style sigma carrot two equals mu. Topic binomial distribution. The binomial distribution with parameters n. Display style n and p. Display style p is a discrete distribution for k equals 0 1 2 n display style k equals 0 1 2 l dot n its probability mass function is given by p k equals N K P K one minus P N minus K Display style P K equals N choose K P carrot K one P carrot N K and it has expected value mu equals n p display style mu equals n p the variance is equal to var x equals k equals 0 n k 2 N K P K one minus P N minus K minus mu two equals N P one Minus p display style operator name var x equals left sum underscore k equals zero carrot n k carrot two n choose k p carrot k one p carrot n k right mu carrot two equals n p one p as a simple example the binomial distribution with p equals 1 2 display style p equals 1 half describes the probability of getting k display style k heads in n display style n tosses of a fair coin Thus the expected value of the number of heads is n 2 display style n 2 and the variance is n 4 display style n 4 topic 
Fair die A fair six-sided die can be modeled as a discrete random variable, x, with outcomes 1 through 6, each with equal probability 1 6. The expected value of x is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 plus 6 6 equals 7 2 Display style one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six six equals seven halves. Therefore, the variance of x is var x equals i equals one six one six I minus seven two two equals one six minus five two two plus minus three two two plus minus 1 2 2 plus 1 half 2 plus 3 halves 2 plus 5 halves 2 equals 35 12 approximately equals 2.92 Display style begin aligned operator name var x and equals sum underscore i equals one carrot six frac one six left i frac seven two right carrot two five pt and equals frac one six left minus five halves carrot two plus minus three halves carrot two plus minus one half carrot two plus one half carrot two 2 plus 3 halves carrot 2 plus 5 halves carrot 2 right 5 pt and equals frac 35 12 approx 2.92 end aligned the general formula for the variance of the outcome x of an n sided die is var x equals e X two minus E X two equals one N I equals one N I two minus one N I equals one N I two equals N plus one two N plus one six minus N plus one two two equals N two minus one twelve Display style begin aligned operator name var x and equals operator name e x caret two operator name e x caret two five pt and equals frac one n sum underscore i equals one caret n i caret two left frac one n sum underscore i equals one caret n i right caret two five pt and equals frac n plus one two n plus 1 6 left frac n plus 1 2 right carrot 2 4 pt and equals frac n carrot 2 minus 1 12 end aligned topic properties topic basic properties 
Variance is non-negative because the squares are positive or zero. VAR x zero. Display style operator name VAR x geq zero. The variance of a constant random variable is zero, and if the variance of a variable in a data set is zero, then all the entries have the same value. P x equals a equals one VAR x equals zero. Display style p x equals a equals one iff operator name var x equals zero. Variance is invariant with respect to changes in a location parameter. That is, if a constant is added to all values of the variable, the variance is unchanged. Var x plus equals VAR X Display style operator name VAR X plus A equals operator name VAR X If all values are scaled by a constant, the variance is scaled by the square of that constant VAR A X equals Two VAR X Display style operator name VAR X equals a carrot two operator name VAR X. The variance of a sum of two random variables is given by VAR A X plus B Y equals a two VAR X plus B two VAR Y plus two A B Cov X Y display style operator name VAR X plus by equals a carrot two operator name VAR X plus B carrot two operator name VAR Y plus two ab operator name cov X Y VAR A X minus B Y equals a two VAR X plus B two VAR Y minus two A B Cov X Y Display style operator name VAR x by equals a carrot two operator name VAR x plus b carrot two operator name VAR y minus two ab operator name cov x y where cov is the covariance. In general, we have for the sum of n display style n random variables x 1 x n display style x underscore 1 dots x underscore n VAR I equals 1 n x I equals I J equals one N Cov X I 
x j equals i equals 1 n var x i plus i does not equal j cov x i x j Display style operator name VAR left sum underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I right equals sum underscore I j equals one carrot N operator name cov x underscore I x underscore j equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N operator name VAR x underscore I plus sum underscore I N E Q J operator name cov x X underscore I X underscore J. These results lead to the variance of a linear combination as VAR I equals one N A I X I equals I J equals one N A I A J Cov X I X J equals I equals one N A I to V A R X I plus I does not equal J A I A J Cov X I X J equals I equals one N A I two V A R X I plus two one I J N A I a J Cov X I X J display style begin aligned operator name V A R left sum underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I X underscore I right and equals sum underscore I J equals one carrot N A underscore I A underscore J operator name Cov X underscore I X underscore J and equals sum underscore I equals Equals one carrot N A underscore I carrot two operator name VAR X underscore I plus some underscore I not equals J A underscore I A underscore J operator name Cov X underscore I X underscore J and equals some underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I carrot two operator name VAR X underscore I plus Two sum underscore one leqi if the random variables x one x n display style x underscore one dots x underscore n are such that cov x i x j equals zero i does not equal j display style operator name cov x underscore i x underscore j equals zero for all i n e q j they are said to be uncorrelated. It follows immediately from the expression given earlier that if the random variables x one x n display style x underscore one dots x underscore n are uncorrelated, then the variance of their sum is equal to the sum of their variances, or expressed symbolically var. I equals one N X I equals I equals one N V A R X I 
Display style operator name VAR left sum underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I right equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N operator name VAR x underscore I since independent random variables are always uncorrelated, the equation above holds in particular when the random variables x 1 x n display style x underscore 1 dot x underscore n are independent. Thus independence is sufficient but not necessary for the variance of the sum to equal the sum of the variances. <laughs> sum of uncorrelated variables be a name formula. One reason for the use of the variance in preference to other measures of dispersion is that the variance of the sum or the difference of uncorrelated random variables is the sum of their variances. VAR I equals one n x I equals I equals 1 n var x i display style operator name var left sum underscore i equals 1 caret n x underscore i right equals sum underscore i equals 1 caret n operator name var x underscore i this statement is called the Bianame formula and was discovered in 1853. It is often made with the stronger condition that the variables are independent, but being uncorrelated suffices. So if all the variables have the same variance σ2, then, since division by n is a linear transformation, this formula immediately implies that the variance of their mean is VAR X equals VAR one N I equals one N X I equals one N two I equals 1 n var x i equals 1 n 2 n sigma 2 equals sigma 2 n Display style operator name VAR left overline x right equals operator name VAR left frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n x underscore i right equals frac one n carrot two sum underscore i equals one carrot n operator name VAR left x underscore i right equals frac one n carrot two n sigma carrot two equals Frac sigma carrot two n. That is, the variance of the mean decreases when n increases. This formula for the variance of the mean is used in the definition of the standard error of the sample mean, which is used in the central limit theorem. To prove the initial statement, it suffices to show that var x plus y equals var x plus var y display style operator name var x plus y equals operator name var x plus operator name var y 
The general result then follows by induction. Starting with the definition, VAR x plus y equals e x plus y two minus e x plus y two equals e x two plus two x y plus y two minus e x plus e y two. Display style begin aligned operator name VAR x plus y and equals operator name e x plus y carrot two operator name e x plus y carrot two five pt and equals operator name e x carrot two plus two x y plus y carrot two operator name e x plus operator name e y carrot two end aligned Using the linearity of the expectation operator and the assumption of independence or uncorrelatedness of x and y, this further simplifies as follows: VAR x plus y equals e x two plus two. E x y plus e y two minus e x two plus two e x e y plus E Y two equals E X two plus E Y two Minus E X two minus E Y two equals VAR X plus VAR Y Display style begin aligned operator name VAR x plus y and equals operator name e x carrot two plus two operator name e x y plus operator name e y carrot two operator name e x carrot two plus two operator name e x operator name e y plus operator name e y carrot two five pt and equals operator Name E x carrot two plus operator name E Y carrot two operator name E x carrot two operator name E Y carrot two five PT and equals operator name VAR x plus operator name VAR Y end aligned Topic sum of correlated variables In general, if the variables are correlated, then the variance of their sum is the sum of their covariances, VAR I equals 1 N X I equals I equals 1 N J equals 1 N Cov X I X J equals I equals 1 N VAR X I plus 2 1 I J N Cov X I X J Display style operator name VAR left sum underscore I equals one carrot N x underscore I right equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N sum underscore J equals one carrot N operator name cov x underscore I x underscore J equals sum underscore I equals one carrot N operator name VAR x underscore I plus two sum underscore 1 LEQI. Note, the second equality comes from the fact that cov she, she equals VAR she, he cov is the covariance, which is zero for independent random variables if it exists. The formula states that the variance of a sum is equal to the sum of all elements in the covariance matrix of the components. The next expression states equivalently that the variance of the sum is the sum of the diagonal of covariance matrix plus two times the sum of its upper triangular elements or its lower triangular elements. This emphasizes that the covariance matrix is symmetric. 
This formula is used in the theory of Kronbach's alpha in classical test theory. So if the variables have equal variance σ2 and the average correlation of distinct variables is ρ, then the variance of their mean is var x equals sigma 2 n plus n minus 1 n rho sigma 2 Display style operator name VAR overline x equals frac sigma carrot two n plus frac n one n rho sigma carrot two. This implies that the variance of the mean increases with the average of the correlations. In other words, additional correlated observations are not as effective as additional independent observations at reducing the uncertainty of the mean. Moreover, if the variables have unit variance, for example if they are standardized, then this simplifies to var x equals 1 n plus n minus 1 n rho Display style operator name VAR overline x equals frac 1 n plus frac n 1 n rho This formula is used in the Spearman Brown prediction formula of classical test theory this converges to rho if n goes to infinity, provided that the average correlation remains constant or converges to. So for the variance of the mean of standardized variables with equal correlations or converging average correlation we have lim n infinity var x equals Rho display style lim underscore n two inf t operator name var overline x equals rho. Therefore, the variance of the mean of a large number of standardized variables is approximately equal to their average correlation. This makes clear that the sample mean of correlated variables does not generally converge to the population mean even though the law of large numbers states that the sample mean will converge for independent variables. Topic: <laughs> Matrix notation for the variance of a linear combination. Define x display style x as a column vector of n display style n random variables x one x n display style x underscore one l dots x underscore n and C display style C as a column vector of n display style n scalars C one C n display style C underscore one L dots C underscore n. Therefore, C T x display style c caret t x is a linear combination of these random variables where c t display style c caret t denotes the transpose of c display style c. Also let Sigma display style sigma 
be the covariance matrix of x display style x the variance of c t x display style c caret t x is then given by var c t x equals c t sigma c display style operator name var c caret t x equals c caret t sigma c topic weighted sum of variables The scaling property and the Bianaim formula, along with the property of the covariance cov x by equals ab cov x y, jointly imply that var a x plus or minus b y equals a two var x plus b 2 var y plus or minus 2 a b cov x y Display style operator name var x pm by equals a carrot two operator name var x plus b carrot two operator name var y pm two ab operator name cov x y. This implies that in a weighted sum of variables, the variable with the largest weight will have a disproportionately large weight in the variance of the total. For example, if x and y are uncorrelated and the weight of x is 2 times the weight of y, then the weight of the variance of x will be 4 times the weight of the variance of y. The expression above can be extended to a weighted sum of multiple variables, var i n a i x i equals i equals 1 n a i 2 var x i plus 2 1 i j n a i a j cov x i x j display style operator name var left sum underscore i caret n a underscore i x underscore i right equals sum underscore i equals 1 caret n a underscore I carrot two operator name VAR x underscore I plus two sum underscore one LEQI sum underscore Topic product of independent variables If two variables x and y are independent, the variance of their product is given by var x y equals e x two var y plus e y two var x plus var x var y Display style begin aligned operator name var x y and equals operator name e x carrot two operator name var y plus operator name e y carrot two operator name var x plus operator name var x operator name var y end aligned equivalently using the basic properties of expectation it is given by var x y equals e x 2 e y 2 minus e x 2 e y 2 display style operator name var x y equals operator name e x caret 2 operator name e y caret 2 operator name e x caret 2 operator name e y caret 2 
Topic: <laughs> Product of statistically dependent variables. In general, if two variables are statistically dependent, the variance of their product is given by var x y equals e x 2 y 2 minus e x y 2 equals cov x 2 y 2 plus e x 2 e y 2 minus e x y 2 equals cov x 2 y 2 plus var x plus e x 2 var y plus e y 2 minus cov x y plus e x e y 2 display style begin aligned operator name var x y equals and operator name e x caret 2 y caret 2 operator name e x y caret 2 5 pt e Equals and operator name cov x caret two y caret two plus operator name e x caret two operator name e y caret two operator name e x y caret two five pt equals and operator name cov x caret two y caret two plus operator name var x plus operator name e x caret two operator name var Y plus operator name E Y carrot two five PT and operator name Cov X Y plus operator name E X operator name E Y carrot two end aligned. Topic Decomposition The general formula for variance decomposition or the law of total variance is if x display style x and y display style y are two random variables and the variance of x display style x exists then var X equals E VAR X Y plus VAR E X Y Display style operator name VAR X equals operator name E operator name VAR X mid Y plus operator name VAR operator name E X mid Y The conditional expectation E X Y Display style operator name E X mid Y of X display style X given Y display style Y and the conditional variance VAR X Y display style operator name VAR X mid Y may be understood as follows Given any particular value y of the random variable y, there is a conditional expectation e x y equals y. Display style operator name e x mid y equals y. Given the event y equals y. This quantity depends on the particular value y, it is a function g 
Y equals E X Y equals Y Display style G Y equals operator name E X mid Y equals Y that same function evaluated at the random variable y is the conditional expectation e x y equals g y display style operator name e x mid y equals g y in particular if y Display style y is a discrete random variable assuming possible values y one y two y three display style y underscore one y underscore two y underscore three l dots with corresponding probabilities. P one P two P three Display style P underscore one P underscore two P underscore three L dots then in the formula for total variance the first term on the right hand side becomes E VAR X Y equals I P I Sigma I two Display style operator name E operator name VAR X mid Y equals sum underscore I P underscore I Sigma underscore I carrot two where Sigma I two equals VAR X Y equals Y I display style sigma underscore I carrot two equals operator name VAR X mid Y equals Y underscore I Similarly, the second term on the right hand side becomes VAR E X Y equals I P I mu I two minus I P I mu i 2 equals i p i mu i 2 minus mu 2 Display style operator name VAR operator name E X mid Y equals sum underscore I P underscore I mu underscore I carrot two left sum underscore I P underscore I mu underscore I right carrot two equals sum underscore I P underscore I mu underscore I carrot two mu carrot two where mu I equals E X Y equals Y I display style mu underscore I equals operator name E X mid Y equals Y underscore I and mu equals I P I mu I display style mu equals sum underscore I P underscore I mu underscore I. Thus, the total variance is given by VAR 
x equals i p i sigma i 2 plus i p i mu i 2 minus mu 2 Display style operator name VAR x equals sum underscore I P underscore I sigma underscore I carrot two plus left sum underscore I P underscore I mu underscore I carrot two mu carrot two right. A similar formula is applied in analysis of variance, where the corresponding formula is M S Total equals M S between plus M S within display style method M S underscore text total equals method M S underscore text between plus method M S underscore text within here m s display style method ms refers to the mean of the squares in linear regression analysis the corresponding formula is m s total equals m s regression plus M S residual display style method M S underscore text total equals method M S underscore text regression plus method M S underscore text residual. This can also be derived from the additivity of variances, since the total observed score is the sum of the predicted score and the error score, where the latter two are uncorrelated. Similar decompositions are possible for the sum of squared deviations, sum of squares S S display style method S S S S total equals S S between plus S S within display style method S S underscore text total equals method S S underscore text between plus method S S underscore text within S S total equals S S regression plus S S residual Display style method SS underscore text total equals method SS underscore text regression plus method SS underscore text residual. Topic Formulae for the variance. A formula often used for deriving the variance of a theoretical distribution is as follows VAR x equals E x 2 minus E x 2 Display style operator name VAR x equals operator name E x carrot two operator name E x carrot two. This will be useful when it is possible to derive formulae for the expected value and for the expected value of the square. This formula is also sometimes used in connection with the sample variance. 
While useful for hand calculations, it is not advised for computer calculations as it suffers from catastrophic cancellation if the two components of the equation are similar in magnitude and floating point arithmetic is used. This is discussed in the article Algorithms for Calculating Variance. Calculation from the CDF The population variance for a non-negative random variable can be expressed in terms of the cumulative distribution function f using 2 0 infinity u 1 minus f U D U minus zero infinity one minus F U D U two Display style two in underscore zero carrot inf t u one f u do big in underscore zero carrot inf t one f u do big carrot two. This expression can be used to calculate the variance in situations where the CDF, but not the density, can be conveniently expressed. Topic: Characteristic property. The second moment of a random variable attains the minimum value when taken around the first moment, i.e., mean of the random variable, i.e., a r g m i n m E x minus m two equals e x display style mathrm dogmin underscore m mathrm e left left x m right carrot two right equals mathrm e x. Conversely, if a continuous function Phi display style var phi satisfies a r g m i n m e phi x minus m equals e X display style mathrm argmin underscore m mathrm e vafi x m equals mathrm e x for all random variables x, then it is necessarily of the form phi x equals a x two plus B display style var phi x equals x caret two plus b, where a greater than zero. This also holds in the multidimensional case. Topic: Units of measurement. Unlike expected absolute deviation, the variance of a variable has units that are the square of the units of the variable itself. For example, a variable measured in meters will have a variance measured in meters squared. For this reason, describing data sets via their standard deviation or root mean square deviation is often preferred over using the variance. In the dice example the standard deviation is square root 2.9 approximately equals 1.7, slightly larger than the expected absolute deviation of 1.5.
The standard deviation and the expected absolute deviation can both be used as an indicator of the spread of a distribution. The standard deviation is more amenable to algebraic manipulation than the expected absolute deviation, and, together with variance and its generalization covariance, is used frequently in theoretical statistics. However, the expected absolute deviation tends to be more robust as it is less sensitive to outliers arising from measurement anomalies or an unduly heavy tailed distribution. Distribution <laughs> Approximating the variance of a function The delta method uses second order Taylor expansions to approximate the variance of a function of one or more random variables. See Taylor expansions for the moments of functions of random variables. For example, the approximate variance of a function of one variable is given by var f x approximately equals f e x 2 var x Display style operator name var left f x right of prox left f operator name e left x right right carrot two operator name var left x right provided that f is twice differentiable and that the mean and variance of x are finite. Topic. Population variance and sample variance Real-world observations such as the measurements of yesterday's rain throughout the day typically cannot be complete sets of all possible observations that could be made. As such, the variance calculated from the finite set will in general not match the variance that would have been calculated from the full population of possible observations. This means that one estimates the mean and variance that would have been calculated from an omniscient set of observations by using an estimator equation. The estimator is a function of the sample of n observations drawn without observational bias from the whole population of potential observations. In this example that sample would be the set of actual measurements of yesterday's rainfall from available rain gauges within the geography of interest. The simplest estimators for population mean and population variance are simply the mean and variance of the sample, the sample mean and uncorrected sample variance, these are consistent estimators they converge to the correct value as the number of samples increases, but can be improved. Estimating the population variance by taking the sample's variance is close to optimal in general, but can be improved in two ways. Most simply, the sample variance is computed as an average of squared deviations about the sample mean, by dividing by n. However, using values other than n improves the estimator in various ways. Four common values for the denominator are n, n-1, n plus 1, and n-1.5. n is the simplest population variance of the sample, n-1 eliminates bias, n plus 1 minimizes mean squared error for the normal distribution, and n-1.5 mostly eliminates bias in unbiased estimation of standard deviation for the normal distribution. Firstly, if the omniscient mean is unknown and is computed as the sample mean, then the sample variance is a biased estimator, it underestimates the variance by a factor of n-1, n, correcting by this factor dividing by n-1 instead of n is called Bessel's correction. The resulting estimator is unbiased, and is called the corrected sample variance or unbiased sample variance. 
For example, when n equals 1 the variance of a single observation about the sample mean itself is obviously zero regardless of the population variance. If the mean is determined in some other way than from the same samples used to estimate the variance then this bias does not arise and the variance can safely be estimated as that of the samples about the independently known mean. Secondly, the sample variance does not generally minimize mean squared error between sample variance and population variance. Correcting for bias often makes this worse. One can always choose a scale factor that performs better than the corrected sample variance, though the optimal scale factor depends on the excess ketosis of the population, see mean squared error, variance, and introduces bias. This always consists of scaling down the unbiased estimator dividing by a number larger than n-1, and is a simple example of a shrinkage estimator, 1 «shrinks» the unbiased estimator towards 0. For the normal distribution, dividing by n plus 1 instead of n minus 1 or n minimizes mean squared error. The resulting estimator is biased, however, and is known as the biased sample variation. <laughs> Population variance In general, the population variance of a finite population of size n with values σ is given by where the population mean is mu equals 1 n i equals 1 n x i display style mu equals frac 1 n sum underscore i equals 1 caret n x underscore i the population variance can also be computed using sigma 2 equals 1 n 2 i j x i minus x j 2 equals 1 2 n 2 i j equals 1 n x i minus x j 2 display style sigma caret 2 equals frac 1 n caret 2 sum underscore i this is true because the population variance matches the variance of the generating probability distribution in this sense, the concept of population can be extended to continuous random variables with infinite populations. Topic sample variance In many practical situations, the true variance of a population is not known a priori and must be computed somehow. When dealing with extremely large populations, it is not possible to count every object in the population, so the computation must be performed on a sample of the population. Sample variance can also be applied to the estimation of the variance of a continuous distribution from a sample of that distribution. We take a sample with replacement of n values y1, yn from the population, where n directly taking the variance of the sample data gives the average of the squared deviations sigma y2 equals 1 n i equals 1 n y i minus y 2 equals 1 n i equals 1 n y i 2 minus y 2 equals 1 n 2 ij ij y minus yj 2 
Display style sigma underscore y carrot two equals frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n left y underscore i overline y right carrot two equals left frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n y underscore i carrot two right overline y carrot two equals frac one n carrot two sum underscore i j i here Y display style overline Y denotes the sample mean Y equals one n i equals one n y i display style overline Y equals frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n y underscore i since the year are selected randomly both Y display style overline Y and sigma Y two display style sigma underscore Y carrot two are random variables. Their expected values can be evaluated by averaging over the ensemble of all possible samples ye of size n from the population. For sigma y two display style sigma underscore y carrot two, this gives e sigma y. Two equals e one n i equals one n y i minus one n j equals one n Y J two equals one N I equals one N E Y I two minus two N Y I J equals one N Y J plus one N two J equals one N Y J K equals one N Y K equals one N I equals one N N minus two N E Y I two minus two N J does not equal I E Y I Y J plus one N two J equals one N K does not equal J N E Y J Y K plus one N two J equals one N E Y J two equals one N 
I equals one N N minus two N Sigma two plus mu two minus two N N minus one mu two plus one N two N N minus one mu two plus one N sigma two plus mu two equals N minus one N sigma two Display style begin aligned operator name E sigma underscore Y carrot two and equals operator name E left frac one N sum underscore I equals one carrot N left Y underscore I frac one N sum underscore J equals one carrot N Y underscore J right carrot two right five PT and equals frac one N sum underscore I equals one carrot N operator name E left Y underscore I carrot two frac two N Y underscore I sum underscore J equals one carrot N Y underscore J plus frac one N carrot two sum underscore J equals one carrot N Y underscore J sum underscore K equals one carrot N Y underscore K right five PT and equals frac one N sum underscore I equals one carrot N left frac N two N operator name E Y underscore I carrot two frac two N sum underscore J N E Q I operator name E Y underscore I Y underscore J plus frac one N carrot two sum underscore J equals one carrot N sum underscore K N E Q J carrot N operator name E Y underscore J Y underscore K plus frac one N carrot two sum underscore J equals one carrot N operator name E Y underscore J carrot two right five PT and equals frac one N sum underscore I equals one carrot N left frac N two N sigma carrot two plus mu carrot two frac two N N one mu carrot two plus frac one N carrot two N N one mu carrot two plus frac one N sigma carrot two plus mu carrot two right five PT and equals frac N one N sigma carrot two end aligned hence sigma Y two display style sigma underscore Y carrot two gives an estimate of the population variance that is biased by a factor of N minus one N display style frac N one one n for this reason sigma y 2 display style sigma underscore y caret 2 is referred to as the biased sample variance correcting for this bias yields the unbiased sample variance s 2 equals N N minus one Sigma Y two equals N N minus one one N I equals one N Y I minus Y two equals one N minus one I equals one N Y I Minus y two 
Display style s carrot two equals frac n n one sigma underscore y carrot two equals frac n n one left frac one n sum underscore i equals one carrot n left y underscore i overline y right carrot two right equals frac one n one sum underscore i equals one carrot n left y underscore i overline y right carrot two Either estimator may be simply referred to as a sample variance when the version can be determined by context. The same proof is also applicable for samples taken from a continuous probability distribution. The use of the term n-1 is called Bessel's correction, and it is also used in sample covariance and the sample standard deviation the square root of variance. The square root is a concave function and thus introduces negative bias by Jensen's inequality, which depends on the distribution, and thus the corrected sample standard deviation using Bessel's correction is biased. The unbiased estimation of standard deviation is a technically involved problem, though for the normal distribution using the term n-1.5 yields an almost unbiased estimator. The unbiased sample variance is a U statistic for the function f y1, y2 equals y1 minus y2 2 halves meaning that it is obtained by averaging a two sample statistic over two element subsets of the population equals topic distribution of the sample variance equals being a function of random variables, the sample variance is itself a random variable, and it is natural to study its distribution. In the case that ye are independent observations from a normal distribution, Cochrane's theorem shows that S2 follows a scaled chi squared distribution n 1 s 2 sigma 2 chi n minus 1 2 display style n1 frac s caret 2 sigma caret 2 sim chi underscore n1 caret 2 as a direct consequence it follows that e S two equals E Sigma two N minus one Chi N minus one two equals Sigma two Display style operator name E S carrot two equals operator name E left frac sigma carrot two N one chi underscore N one carrot two right equals sigma carrot two and if the ye are independent and identically distributed, but not necessarily normally distributed, then where kappa is the kurtosis of the distribution and mu4 is the fourth central moment. If the conditions of the law of large numbers hold for the squared observations, S2 is a consistent estimator of σ2. One can see indeed that the variance of the estimator tends asymptotically to zero. An asymptotically equivalent formula was given in Kenny and Keeping, 1951 to 164, Rose and Smith, 2002 to 264, and Weistein, N. D. Topic: Samuelson's inequality. 
Samuelson's inequality is a result that states bounds on the values that individual observations in a sample can take, given that the sample mean and biased variance have been calculated. Values must lie within the limits y plus or minus sigma y n minus 1 1 2 Display style bar y pm sigma underscore y n one carrot one half. Topic Relations with the harmonic and arithmetic means It has been shown that for a sample of real numbers sigma y 2 2 y max a minus h display style sigma underscore y caret 2 leq 2 y underscore max a h where I max is the maximum of the sample, A is the arithmetic mean, H is the harmonic mean of the sample and sigma y 2 display style sigma underscore y caret 2 is the biased variance of the sample. This bound has been improved, and it is known that variance is bounded by Sigma Y two Y max A minus H Y max minus A Y max minus H Display style sigma underscore y carrot two leq frac y underscore max a h y underscore max a y underscore max h sigma y two y min a minus h a minus Y min H minus Y min display style sigma underscore Y carrot two G E Q frac Y underscore min A H A Y underscore min H Y underscore min where Y M I N is the minimum of the sample. Topic: Tests of equality of variances. Testing for the equality of two or more variances is difficult. The F-test and Chi-square tests are both adversely affected by non-normality and are not recommended for this purpose. Several non-parametric tests have been proposed, these include the Barton David Ansari Freund Siegel Tukey test, the Capon test, Mood test, the Klotz test, and the Sukatmi test. The Sukatmi test applies to two variances and requires that both medians be known and equal to zero. The Mood, Klotz, Capon and Barton David Ansari Freund Siegel Tukey tests also apply to two variances. They allow the median to be unknown but do require that the two medians are equal. The Lehman test is a parametric test of two variances. Of this test, there are several variants known. Other tests of the equality of variances include the Box test, the Box Anderson test, and the Moses test. Resampling methods, which include the bootstrap and the jackknife, may be used to test the equality of variances. Topic: 
Topic: History. The term variance was first introduced by Ronald Fisher in his 1918 paper The Correlation Between Relatives on the Supposition of Mendelian Inheritance The great body of available statistics show us that the deviations of a human measurement from its mean follow very closely the normal law of errors, and, therefore, that the variability may be uniformly measured by the standard deviation corresponding to the square root of the mean square error. When there are two independent causes of variability capable of producing in an otherwise uniform population distributions with standard deviations, sigma one display style sigma underscore one and sigma two display style sigma underscore two it is found that the distribution, when both causes act together, has a standard deviation sigma 1 2 plus sigma 2 2 display style sqrt sigma underscore 1 carrot 2 plus sigma underscore 2 carrot 2 it is therefore desirable in analyzing the causes of variability to deal with the square of the standard deviation as the measure of variability. We shall term this quantity the variance. Topic moment of inertia The variance of a probability distribution is analogous to the moment of inertia in classical mechanics of a corresponding mass distribution along a line, with respect to rotation about its center of mass. It is because of this analogy that such things as the variance are called moments of probability distributions. The covariance matrix is related to the moment of inertia tensor for multivariate distributions. The moment of inertia of a cloud of n points with a covariance matrix of sigma, display style sigma is given by I equals n one three times three tr sigma minus sigma. Display style i equals n math bf one underscore three times three operator name tr sigma sigma. This difference between moment of inertia in physics and in statistics is clear for points that are gathered along a line. Suppose many points are close to the x-axis and distributed along it. The covariance matrix might look like sigma equals 100000.1000.1. Display style sigma equals begin B matrix 10 and 0 and 0 0 and 0 point 1 and 0 0 and 0 and 0 point 1 end B matrix. That is, there is the most variance in the x direction. Physicists would consider this to have a low moment about the x-axis so the moment of inertia tensor is I equals n 0.2000 Display style I equals n begin B matrix 0 0.2 and 0 and 0 0 and 10.1 and 0 0 and 0 and 10.1 end B matrix topic semivariance the semivariance is calculated in the same manner as the variance but only those observations that fall below the mean are included in the calculation it is sometimes described as a measure of downside risk in an investments context for skewed distributions, the semivariance can provide additional information that a variance does not. For inequalities associated with the semivariance, see Chebyshev's inequality section semivariances. Topic: <laughs> Generalizations. Topic: 
Topic: For complex variables. If x display style x is a scalar complex valued random variable with values in c display style math bound c then its variance is e x minus mu x minus mu display style operator name e left x mu x mu caret asterisk right where x display style x caret asterisk is the complex conjugate of x display style x this variance is a real scalar topic for vector valued random variables topic as a matrix if x display style x is a vector valued random variable with values in r n Display style math bound r caret n and thought of as a column vector, then a natural generalization of variance is e x minus mu x minus mu t Display style operator name e left x mu x mu caret operator name t right where mu equals e x display style mu equals operator name e x and x t Display style x caret operator name t is the transpose of x display style x, and so is a row vector. The result is a positive semi-definite square matrix, commonly referred to as the variance-covariance matrix, or simply as the covariance matrix. If x Display style x is a vector and complex valued random variable with values in C n display style math bound C caret n. Then the covariance matrix is E x minus mu x minus mu display style operator name e left x mu x mu caret dagger right where x display style x caret dagger is the conjugate transpose of x display style x this matrix is also positive semi-definite and square Topic. As a scalar Another natural generalization of variance for such vector valued random variables x, x which results in a scalar value rather than in a matrix, is obtained by interpreting the deviation between the random variable and its mean as the Euclidean distance. This results in e x minus mu t x minus mu equals t r c 
Display style operator name E left x mu carrot operator name T x mu right equals operator name T R C which is the trace of the covariance matrix. See also Notes <laughs> <laughs>